I find when working with the hair, it's best to start off by breaking it down into its various components. First, let's reestablish the angle of this part. It comes up to here, and then it breaks up through here. And so I want to just reassess and reestablish what's happening here in this part. Now we've got a tuft of hair here, and there's a grouping of hair. Comes to there. And there's a piece of hair that swings through here. And there's also a barrette in here. But you know, I'm quite worried about putting this bread in, and the reason for that is this, this dangling piece of hair here is quite parallel with the bread. And when we have parallel objects in a drawing, they tend to attract much more than they're due from the viewer. And so we need to edit one of these out, or make them a parallax, but I think the better choice here is to edit out the beret. We don't really need it. And of course, the best works, just like music, are those, ver are those versions that are stripped down to their essentials. Just get a little plane here into the forehead. Put a hair. It's happening here. It's down. And it's twisting around a bit, and there's a little tuft coming through here. Okay, I think we have enough information for this part, or this section of the hair. Let's go to the other. Uh, let's see. It's a tuft of hair here, and of course, I always find you know, hair that's slightly messed up, that's more au naturel, as it were, is much more interesting than a well-coiffed do, which, which is quite boring in terms of line and, and plane changes and expressive character, which at this level of our training is our primary agenda, expressive character. Okay. I'm going to treat this all as one big form here, which is what it is. I'll break a hair here, which is quite nice because it helps very subtly bring the eye down through here and back in through the head. <laughs> 